Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naisha if you're new here. And in today's video, we are going to be doing my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for January unboxing. So again, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Naisha, I'm a mom of two. I'm obsessed with subscription boxes and bags apparently. I already unboxed my BoxyCharm base box and premium. If that's already up, I'm gonna link it in the cards or down below. If not, it's coming real soon. Uh, this look that I'm wearing is a look with the Ofra Cosmetics Good To Go Mini Mix Palette that we got in our premium box. So I did a nice quick little warm look and I'll talk more about the palette and everything in the BoxyCharm video. But today we're going to talk about Ipsy. If you don't know, Ipsy is a beauty and makeup subscription box. The Glam Bag Plus that I get is $25 a month, on par with the BoxyCharm base box. And you're expected to get a value of $120 or more worth of product. If you're interested in signing up for Ipsy, I'll leave a link down below so you can check that out. So if you're interested in seeing what I got in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, please keep on watching. So this is our bag this month. We keep getting the drawstring bags, which I don't mind. And it's a beautiful light blue with dream written all over it. So you know, it's the start of 2021 and we can only dream. Included in the bag is this uh, little card that's letting us know about the Glam Bag X that's coming. I already signed up for it. It's supposed to come next month. And it is the Glam Bag X Patrick Ta. Thank you for the info, Ipsy. Okay, so in general, Ipsy doesn't give us like a card with all of the information and the prices or anything. But again, it's on, I'm using my daughter's fire, it's on my uh, profile. So I'm just going to get all the information from there. First thing in the box is this Item Beauty Air Hug Concealer, Smoothing Medium to Full Coverage Concealer. If you don't know, Item Beauty is, I don't know if it's owned or she's the face of, seems like she's the owner, um, Addison Ray. she's like one of those tiktokers with like 100 million followers so she started this beauty brand called item beauty this is not the first thing i've gotten from item beauty i got a blush bronze combo and it was actually really really nice the i haven't used the concealer it looks pretty i think it looks way too dark for my under eyes so i might actually use this as a concealer because it looks eh, it looks like it'll work as my skin complexion so I'm going to try it out, but I'm probably going to use it as a foundation. If it doesn't work as a foundation, I'll probably just give it to my sister. This might work better for her. Probably my mom. Redness, breakouts, and dark circles. This multitasking and totally lightweight medium to full coverage concealer hides it all without ever creasing, caking, or fading. That's bold claims. And the Item Beauty Air Hug Concealer in Dark Warm Golden 420, that's the color that I have, Full size is $18, so it's actually pretty reasonably priced. Next thing in the box is the Wonder Beauty Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. So it's a nice slim brow pencil. I love the packaging, it's one of my favorite colors. So it's a nice thin pencil on one side and a spoolie on the other. And this is in the color Dark Brown. It gives really, really good pigment. It feels a little rough. I'm gonna have to try it on my eyebrows and see if I like it. But it is a really nice color for me, so I'm definitely gonna try this out. This precise, easy to use pencil has an ultra fine tip designed to enhance and fill in your brows for a natural look. The formula is 100% smear proof and it comes with a built-in spoolie to help you blend like a pro, as most eyebrow pencils do okay to me it seems like you know a typical uh eyebrow pencil i like those uh, thinner skinny ones to do like the hair like lines at the front of your brow and this wonder beauty frame your face micro brow pencil in dark brown full size is 21 dollars. i mean i'll see how i like it because it's right on par with my uh precisely my brow benefit precisely my brow or the abh brow is that i like so We'll see if it works better if it's just on par, but it's around the same price. Next thing in the box is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So this was my choice. Ipsy does let you choose two out of five products in your box. 
so I chose the Luminizing Primer. Uh, the regular Dr. Brand Pores No More. I've had that before and it's really, really good. It really does help with the pores. And like I always say, I have large pores like in this area. So I like to use a pore filling primer. And I've had the opportunity to have this before. I think I had this before and I gave it away because I always used to think that luminizer or anything that was luminous or putting it on my oily acne prone skin would just make me look more oily and would not look good. But you know, in my old age, I've come to appreciate the luminous uh, sort of look, a glowy look. And I use luminizing primers all the time. And the only thing I do differently is I pair it with a, a pore filling or mattifying primer just right in my T-zone where I have my problem area. But the rest of my skin, I go ahead and make sure and keep it nice and glowy because glowy skin equates youthful skin. As a glowy, not sweaty, not oily, glowy, which is the goal. So I've come to appreciate using a luminizing primer. So I wanted to try this one out because I think the combination of it being luminizing as well as pore filling is pretty interesting. Maybe I might only need to use one primer. We shall see. Okay, half skincare, half makeup. This primer gives an instant soft focus effect that helps improve your complexion over time. Tiny optical diffusers blur pores while tea tree oil and lentil seed extract refine skin texture and reduce redness. I know tea tree oil also helps with acne prone skin, so that's really interesting that it's in there. And the Dr. Brandt Skin Gear Pores No More Luminizer Primer, Luminizer Primer full size is $38. Pretty pricey, but that's right on par with uh, the benefit professional my favorite tart timeless pore filling moisturizer they're pricey but you know if it works well i'm okay with it next thing in the box is this khaleesi whipped moisturizing cream and this is for normal to dry skin which i have oily skin so i mean it's essentially just a moisturizer so apparently it also has uh, caffeine in it Looks like a souffle for your skin. This moisturizer which whipped face cream softens, soothes, and repairs signs of damage with a cocktail of aloe vera, calendula extract, coconut oil, and organic green coffee. As soon as you smooth it on your complexion, you will look and feel instantly healthier. And the Khaleesi whipped moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin is $34. I've actually never heard of this brand. Um, I mean, I would give it a try, but since it says normal to dry skin, I don't know. Uh, like I, I always say, I have oily, acne prone skin. So not quite sure it will work with my skin type. I may end up just giving this to my sister who has dry, parched skin. And I know she's watching this video and I know your skin is dry. Okay, and the last thing in the box, and this was another one of my choices, is the Perlis Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. So I did get the, I got the cleanser in one of my previous boxes. So when I saw that I had the opportunity to get the moisturizer, I figured why not? So I can use them together. And this one is for oily combination, normal or even sensitive skin. So this is one of the smoothest and most lightweight lotions we've ever felt. Infused with blue lotus, white tea, vitamin E and French marine plants. It deeply hydrates skin, plumps fine lines and wrinkles and soothes inflammation too. Sounds really, really good for my skin. And the Pearly's Beauty Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer full size is $45. Pretty pricey, seems on the smaller side, but I know this Blue Lotus brand is a little bit pricier because the uh, facial wash was also around like $48 as well. All right, so that's everything that I got in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and I did the math, and everything in the box is worth $156. So the box I paid $25 for, it, and I got a retail value of $156. You let me know, do you think, is it worth it? I'm on the fence. It's worth it, but am I happy with everything I got in this month's box? Everything is okay, but it's not spectacular. I really like the Blue Lotus Moisturizer. I definitely want to try the Item Beauty Concealer, but it's too dark to 
to be a concealer for me. And I'm really happy with the Dr. Brand Pores No More Luminizer, of course, because that was my choice. So the two things I'm most happy with are the things that I chose. So the three things that Ipsy put in, which would be the concealer, I could probably use it, you know, as an everyday concealer just for my no makeup makeup look. Speaking of no makeup makeup looks, on my IGTV, I have my full everyday no makeup makeup look in 10 minutes or less. That's on my IG. Follow me down below. Check it out. So I can use a concealer for something like that where I just spot conceal and, you know, blend it out and go about my day. So we'll see. I'll try it. And the eyebrow pencil, it's nothing spectacular. I can always use an eyebrow pencil as a backup. I'll try it. We'll see how we like it. And the other moisturizer, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. I'm going to pass that one on to my sister. So it was meh. Wasn't the greatest. But again, it's a high, it's a much higher value than you paid for it. So you let me know, what do you think? Is it worth it? Let me know down in the comments. So also I got a couple of things. They had a flash sale. This is kind of like their add-ons type uh, situation. So I picked up a couple of things. First thing is the Smith & Cult Somber Shift Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. So I've been eyeing this on Ulta for a while. Way back since I think Makeup Shayla used it for a video or on her Instagram. And it looked really pretty. And... These are the colors that are inside. You guys know this is, these are my tones. Purples, pinks, burgundies. You know this is my jam right here. And I believe this color is like duochrome shifty like a topper. It's a nice mini palette. Love me a mini palette. And the retail price for this is $28, I believe. Which is not bad for a mini palette. It's right on par with like the Huda Beauty ones. And I really wanted to try out the Smith & Cult formula. So I'm going to do a look for this on my Instagram. So again, follow me on there. It also came as a duo with this flesh, fleshy lips. <laughs> Lipstick in drool. So this is the color. A nice nudie peachy color. That's a really nice color. It would actually go really well with this look that I'm wearing right now. It doesn't say if it's matte or not, but it feels satin definitely not matte almost lip balmy and i like that it has a little color thing on the top so you can tell which color is in here yeah so um i can't remember the retail price of the flesh lipstick i think it's around anywhere between 12 and 18 dollars but i got the lipstick and the palette which it retails to 28 dollars. i got the combo for 15 dollars. so uh, i guess because i saw that i wasn't going to get any palettes in my ipsy glam bag plus i decided i wanted to get a palette anyway and like i said i was i was eyeing it on Ulta for $28. So when I saw that I could get both of them for $15, I was like, hell yeah. So I grabbed it up. So I'm gonna do a look on Instagram, check it out. If you're seeing this video, that look is probably already on Instagram. So go follow me, check it out, let me know what you think. And that's it, that is, that's everything I got for you guys today. Uh, if you enjoyed this unboxing, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!